Hey everyone, welcome to the new episode of Get Good at Open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Now, uh, here you can see uh, my timeline park, and I've made a parking lot here. And in one of my previous tutorials, uh, I showed you how to quickly make uh, or how to make a basic car park. And there, uh, I used a method with block brakes to actually fill the car park with cars. Now, it is uh, quite tedious and uh, you will need uh, to build several rides uh, to actually be able to um, fill all the spots with cars. Now there's actually a different method to fill up your car park and the nice thing is you will only need one ride slot for it. And this method uses the Ride Vehicle Editor plugin. You can download it from openrc2plugins.com. Uh, okay, um, the first thing... Uh, well, for this example, I'm not going to fill this entire car park, but I am going to show you how you have to do it, how you can do it. Okay, um, to do this first, we're gonna make a car ride. I'll uh, enable, uh, or I'll disable clearance checks, and then I'll build a new track with all of the, yeah, with ha with straight uh, track pieces on all of these, so going through all these uh, parking spots. Okay, um, I will just build the station here. Actually, I will just build it here on the map edge. And then I'll just build a straight track, at, uh, or I'll build a, build a track with straight track pieces to all these uh, parking spots. Now, we'll make these tracks uh, invisible uh, later. Um, instead of going around, I just went over the track here. I could have gone around uh, and actually, uh, <laughs> by passing over these parking spots, I did make it a little bit more uh, uh, annoying for myself. I'm going to quickly uh, change this. Alright, uh, the next thing that's important to do is to count the parking spots. Now, um, this may be a little bit annoying if your car park is big, but uh, it's something that cannot really be avoided. I mean, you could have a few extra cars and just make them invisible afterwards, but if you have way too many, then it will just uh, become annoying. Now, uh, I know there's around 100 parking spots here because I already did this once. So, uh, we'll disable vehicle limits. Now, you could make one um, train with 100 cars. But uh, I assume you you will want these cars to all have different uh, colors. So what's, uh, in my opinion, better to do is if you have uh, 100 parking spots, probably better to make 5 trains of like 20 cars. Um, and then just uh, have different colors per vehicle. And then uh, you can uh, repaint 20 of these vehicles and then it will look like a uh, all of the cars have uh, different colors. If you make one train of 100 vehicles, you'll have to recolor 100 vehicles. Now you'll have to only do uh, 20. So that's uh, that'll save you some time. Okay, um, I'm quickly going to uh, um, change the vehicle colors just uh, for demonstration uh, purposes. I'll just uh, give them a little rainbow uh, just so it's easy for me. Okay, the, I've recolored all the cars, now I'm just going to put it in, uh, let's do it in test mode and immediately close it. And you can see all the cars have uh, spawned here. Okay, now we're uh, going to take out our right vehicle editor plugin. So it's over here, edit right vehicles. Now, um, it's called car ride one now, you should probably, I should probably call it car park or something. Now, um, we have five trains now, all of 20 vehicles. Now, of a car ride, the first vehicle is always uh, an invisible vehicle. And it's probably best to leave it in place. Uh, if you want it to be visible, you could uh, uh, change it to a different variant. But uh, usually it's variant one, it's an invisible car. And but I don't know why car rides have an invisible front and back vehicle, but they are there. So uh, it's probably best to leave this one in place for now. 
So I'm going to show you for the first train uh, how to move all the cars into place. It's actually pretty easy. So I'll leave the vehicle one in place and for vehicle two um, we'll want to change the track progress. Now you can see if we do it this way it goes really slow. So you can do a uh, times 10 here and then the steps will be 10 bigger so on track progress just you can just move it forward then we go to the next vehicle and then we do the same for bigger steps uh, change it to times 100 yeah like this uh, now the second one is in place and then we do the fourth one you can also keep the button pressed to uh, move them to drive them forward and let's, you can just uh, continue doing this i will now just do this uh, for the first uh, train. Now also when building the track be careful not to uh, merge any track pieces. For example uh, I went up here with the track I uh, made sure not to uh, put several of these straight pieces uh, through each other because uh, then you will basically short circuit some of the track and that's uh, quite annoying. Now also while doing this, uh, don't be afraid to leave some empty spots. Uh, parking lots are often not completely full and some people may have driven away already after spending a few hours at the park. So uh, it might be a good idea to leave a few uh, open spots in the, in the parking lot as well. And will save you a tiny bit of work of course. Okay, now we're up to the last vehicle of this ride. You can see it's uh, another one of the variant one, which is the invisible vehicle. And if we uh, move this vehicle, the the trains behind it will actually uh, also start moving forward. So um, yeah, what I like to do is for this vehicle, just also move it to the station. So the trains behind it are also move to the station. And that will be useful, for example, for these last parking spots. Right now there's all these uh, cars uh, parked on top of it. And you'll probably want to clear this area at some point. So by moving these invisible vehicles forward, uh, all the trains will move uh, forward as well. So, um, what I'm going to do is, uh, this last vehicle, I will just change it into variant zero, so it becomes visible again. And I will just uh, move this forward to the station. You can see all these cars start moving as well. Okay, and now I will just change it back to the invisible one. And these cars will now just stop in the station, because that's where they will hit the last car. Alright, you can see all these cars have now moved forward. So uh, when that is done, um, you just go into the right vehicle editor again. We go to train 2. And uh, we don't start with vehicle 1 because it's the invisible vehicle, but we start again with vehicle 2. And let's change it forward. And there we go. Then we can. Uh, Oops. Be careful not to change the seats. Well, yeah, it doesn't really matter if you change the seats because uh, there won't be guests in uh, any of these cars anyway. Well, yeah, now you can just uh, continue on uh, filling the parking lot and we move to the next one. Alright, that's uh, how to quickly fill a parking lot. Now, something else uh, which I also like to do um, is go into the ride vehicle editor. Let's go to the to one of your cars. And I like always like to uh, change a few to a different car type. For example, you could change one to a, a monster truck. And then there's a monster truck parked here. Or you could uh, change one to a helicopter. <laughs> Why not? be silly to park your helicopter on a parking lot, but uh, who cares. Or you could change one into a pickup truck or a go-kart, etc, etc. Alright, I hope this tutorial is useful for you, and uh, I'll see you again in the next one. See you later!